was known as King of the Meru, and for nearly half a century, he held sway over Meru politics. He was the only Meru member of independent Kenya's first cabinet. It is not known exactly when Jackson Harvester Angaine was born. It was probably in the first decade of the 20th century, at Gatunkune village in Tima location of North Imenti Division of Meru District. Angaine began his education at Kaga Primary School in Meru, from where he proceeded in 1934 to Alliance High School, then the leading boys' boarding high school for Kenyan Africans. After Alliance, Angaine left for Achimota College in the then British colony the Gold Coast, today's Ghana, where he studied for three years. Upon his return to Kenya, he taught at several primary schools at the coast, among them Shimolatewa, Rabai and Ribe. Not long thereafter, Angaine left teaching to join the Kenya African Rifles KAR and was posted for a while to Aden in Yemen during the final phase of the Second World War. On leaving the army, Angaine joined the Kikuyu Central Association KCA, an organization that was set up in 1924 to articulate African land grievances in Kikuyu land and in neighboring Meru and Embu districts. When the KCA was prescribed by the colonial authorities, Angaine joined the successor organization, the Kenya African Union KAU, which had been founded in 1944. He would later become chairman of Kao in Meru district. Angaine was one of dozens of Kao leaders who were arrested on October 20, 1952, when the British colonial governor, Sir Evelyn Baring, declared a state of emergency throughout Kenya in an effort to contain the Mau Mau armed rebellion. He was among hundreds of Africans put in detention. He served his detention in a number of camps, including Manyani, Hola and Manda Island. Six members of Kao's top leadership, including Kao's president Jomo Kenyatta, would be tried at Kapinguria on a charge of managing or helping to manage the Mau Mau rebellion. On being convicted, they were sentenced to seven years in prison. After serving their prison terms, they would be held in detention and would not be set free until 1961. Angaine had been released from detention and was among African leaders who met on May 14, 1960 in Kiambu and set up the Kenya African National Union, KANU. Angaine was elected Meru District KANU branch chairman, a post he would hold uninterrupted for more than three decades. It was on a KANU ticket that he contested for and won the Meru East seat in the elections held in February 1961 that created an African majority in the country's hitherto white-dominated Legislative Council or LegCo. The following year, as a member of the LegCo, Angaine would be part of the KANU delegation led by Kenyatta at the second conference held at Lancaster House in London, during which a final constitution for an independent Kenya was agreed upon. In the May 18th to 26th, 1963 general election, Kano emerged victorious, winning 83 of the 124 seats in the House of Representatives and also a majority in the Senate. Angaine was re-elected in Meru Northwest constituency on a Kano ticket, and in the new government that Prime Minister Kenyatta, as leader of the majority party in Parliament, formed on Madaraka Day, June 1st, he was appointed Parliamentary Secretary in the Ministry of Agriculture and Settlement. Six months later, on Kenya attaining independence on December 12th, Angaine was appointed to his first cabinet post as Minister for Lands and Settlement. He would remain in that post and be the only Meru cabinet minister throughout Kenyatta's reign. 